Hey, good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Today is July 7th, 2020. I'm going to let you look at my fake flowers. <laughs> okay, I had a really awesome dream last night I want to share with you guys. Um, I know that it was, for me, the Lord was just showing me, um, giving me a confirmation just on different things I'd been praying for, but I got to share it with you guys. Okay, as you know, I think, the I think I'm think i going to just title this, uh, Our Rooms Are Ready in Heaven. So here's the dream. In the dream last night, Brian and I were taken to this huge house. It was a house I'd never been in before. It was just the biggest house I'd ever seen. So when we went in, I noticed there was a lot of people with, with us, people I don't know. There was one person in particular that, was, that stood beside me the whole time, and her name was Morgan. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. Now, she uh, answered all the qu any questions I had. She uh, guided me around. She was with me the whole time. So, we go into this house, and there's two men there, okay? I couldn't really see them good, okay? There was, it was very bright there, uh, very peaceful. And these two gentlemen were so excited because they had just finished all the rooms. So, we, he had us all come there, and... He wanted to show us our rooms. So uh, what he did is uh, uh, we just watched as he showed everybody's rooms. You know, we didn't run off to ours or anything like that. We watched as he showed us this person's room and then that person's room. And um, you could tell like one room was a little bit unique because the people were unique and that's the way they, they wanted it. So we're watching these two gentlemen show everybody their rooms. And I noticed that this house um, isn't like how we live today. Like, for example, at our house, it's just my husband and I. So we, uh, we're by ourselves a lot and we eat alone. We watch TV alone. You know, we're by ourselves a lot. In this house, everybody lived together, but you all had your own uh your own uh, place, you know, your own personal space is what it was. So as I'm looking around this house, I'm seeing that there's many different uh, living areas, what or some people call living rooms. And I remember going into one room and I was excited because I, uh, I knew that we were near Warren, which is W-A-R-R-E-N. And I'll tell you about, I'll give you, I'll let you guys, or tell you the symbolicness here as soon as I'm done. So I was in this living room, and I was excited about that, that I was close to Warren because uh, my son lives there. So dinner time came, and again, you didn't go off and eat by yourself like you do at home because this is one of the things I, I noticed was like, well, gosh, you know, I wonder if there's a, a place I could just go off by myself. You know, I was thinking like we would think, okay, in your flesh. So we sat down at a table, and I noticed everybody ate together, and it was a huge feast. Now, when we all sat down, we didn't ignore each other, okay? We, we, uh, every person, uh, cooked something. We didn't, um, just cook for ourselves. When there was a gentleman that made a, a dish of food that he used to really like, and it was fancy food that I'd never had before, he served everybody. And then the next person cooked what they wanted, and they served everybody. So there was all this food, and everybody, everybody was helping each other. It wasn't a one-on-one. A -on -one. It wasn't anything selfish, okay? This was like a huge fellowship community place all right and these people i don't know who these people are i've never seen them before so that's what was going on in this place is um just this huge house we all had our space the thing that really um clicked in me this morning i knew that this message was very important because the when i woke up the the dream would not leave me so i was like all right lord i'm going to look into this i have a feeling that you're showing me something here and the thing that clicked with me is the two people that had been working on this place. He had been working on everybody's room, remodeling it, fixing it up. The thing that really got me was the rooms were all done. And these two gentlemen were so excited. They were just waving the people in. They're like, I got to show you. Every room is done. Every room. And so he was showing us... Each of us, are, are, we each had our own little uh, place, but everything we did was as a community. We, were, we ate together. We, we, uh, we just did everything together. It was just like a huge family, okay? 
So let's go over a few things. I asked the Lord, I was like, all right, why did you use Morgan? Now, this is a woman that I know. First of all, Morgan is a unisex name, okay? It's male or female. Now, Morgan, what I found out means sea chief, sea protector, sea defender. It's born from the sea. Okay, so what is the sea? The sea represents multitudes of people, eternity, and divinity. So I just took this as possibly even Jesus Christ himself. Now, I know there's people out there that say that really got on to me when I said that God can come to you in any shape, form he wants. I, I get a lot of arguments with that. But anyways, these are just my thoughts. As, as I always do, I always ask you guys to pray for discernment. Pray on it, okay? I'm just telling you what the symbols represent. So, again, Morgan is um, actually a captain. A captain, the the one in control. Okay, he's this. Uh, the Morgan means uh, he's the defender, he's the protector, he's the chief. Okay, this is what it is. And again, Morgan is a unisex name. It can be for male or female. So the next thing I looked up was why did I say I was excited about living in Warren because that's where my son lives. So this could be taken as son, as in the son, Jesus Christ. But I looked it up. I looked up some meanings, and this is what I found. In Hebrew, it means a protective friend. Okay, Jesus is our friend. And interestingly enough, it also means a maze of passageways or small rooms. It also means a building or a place with many connected rooms, uh, passages, etc. Also, it can represent a park keeper. Well, symbolically, a park represents community and fellowship. And this is what was going on in this place, okay? So these are the things, the symbols that were in the dream that stood out to me that I looked up. And... When I wrote this all down today, I told my husband, I said, I'm going to share a dream with you. And I said, let's pray before I tell you about it. So I prayed and I asked the Lord to give us wisdom to show us what this message was. So as soon as I told Brian the dream, he put his finger up as in, hang on, wait a minute. And he went to his computer and he came back and he said, the first thing that came to my mind when you told me that dream was scripture, John 14, 1 through 3. And I said, Brian, that is the same scripture that I got earlier today so this was a confirmation to me so let me read john 14 1 through 3 it says let not your hearts be troubled believe in god believe also in me in my father's house are many rooms if it were not so would i have told you that i go to prepare a place for you and when i go and prepare a place for you i will come again and will take you to myself that where i am you may be also so this was a confirmation to me. I believe that the, the Lord was showing me because of all the prayers and stuff with all the news going on in that, um, in a lot of just personal prayers and stuff. I believe the Lord showed this to me, uh, just to bring me peace. And I believe also to let us know that as I think many of you do believe we are, we are very close. We are on the edge. Okay. Um, we've been warning people for years and years and years. And so I just pray again that if you are on the fence, I'm asking you right now to please call out to the Lord, okay? Call out to Jesus right now, okay? Accept him as Lord and Savior. Submit your, your just submit yourself to him, okay? He, he loves you more than you can ever imagine. And time is definitely short, you guys, because um, these two gentlemen that were in this dream, we're extremely excited that everything had been finished. And everything was, every single room was complete. There was no construction. There was no, it's almost done. It was, everything is done. You are ready to move in. So I pray this encourages you guys. And I pray that it helps those that aren't sure yet, that haven't reached out to the Lord. I'm praying and asking you to do that today. So, Father, I just pray for each and every person that listens to this message. I pray, Lord, that you um, speak to them. If they're unsure, I ask you, Lord, to show them the truth. And I just pray for uh, you to bless them and keep them saved, them and their families. I pray for the salvation of every single soul, okay? In Jesus' name. And I pray that every single soul reaches out for a relationship with you, Jesus. And I just, again, ask the Lord to bless you guys. I do truly love you guys. Um, we're getting towards the end of our walk. I have done what I was told to do, even though it was painful. Even though I lost a lot of people, and a lot of people think I'm cruel. <laughs> I did what I was told to do. And I'm sh sure there may be a little bit more. And if there is, I will 
of course, make another video. I told you guys I'd always share everything with you guys. I just want to ask you again to please pray on some of these people. They are false teachers. And the reason we're calling them out is because we don't want you to be led astray. Please, it's important. It, this is We're talking about your salvation here. Where are you going to spend eternity? There's only one of two places. So if you're not sure... Don't go to these, don't go to any man, go to the word of God, sit down, be quiet and seek the Lord. I don't care if it takes a week, seek him. He wants you to seek him. He says that in his word, seek me and you shall find me. When I first came to the Lord, I spent probably two weeks just see, seeking him, but I was faithful every day. And then he began to speak to me. He wants us to seek him. He loves us. So that's all I really got to say today, you guys. I, I do love you, and I pray you each have a great day.